The Porsche Macan SUV has held the title of Porsche's best-selling vehicle since 2016. And now, the compact luxury crossover is gearing up for an exciting transformation, with an all-electric version set to debut for the 2024 model year. While it retains the iconic Macan name, the 2024 Macan EV will embrace a new electric platform, shared with the upcoming Audi A6 e-tron. While specific details about the Macan EV's powertrain are still under wraps, Porsche has hinted at significantly improved range compared to its electric sedan counterpart, the Taycan, which presently boasts up to 227 miles on a single charge as per EPA ratings. With the utilization of the Taycan's advanced 800-volt electrical architecture, quick charging times are expected to be a key feature. Macan EV's lineup will likely parallel that of its gasoline-powered sibling, featuring a higher-performance S model and a range-topping GTS variant. In its initial phase, the Macan EV will coexist with the traditional gas-powered Macan. The 2024 Macan EV is anticipated to make its debut for the 2024 model year. While it will maintain the Macan's distinctive shape, the EV version will incorporate fresh front and rear designs. This marks the introduction of electric powertrains to the Macan family, and one of the first instances of a shared electric platform between Porsche and Audi. In terms of pricing, it's estimated that the Porsche Macan EV will start at around $80,000, making it a slightly more affordable option compared to Porsche's flagship EV, the Taycan. The high-performance GTS model is likely to reach a price point exceeding $100,000. Detailed information about the various Macan EV trims and their pricing will become available closer to the electric crossover's release. Official range figures for the Macan EV will be disclosed at its unveiling, but Porsche has already suggested that it will offer a significantly extended driving range compared to the current Taycan, which offers a maximum of 227 miles according to EPA estimates. Following the Taycan's example, Porsche plans to offer two different battery sizes. However, given that most American Taycan buyers have preferred the longer range model, it's plausible that only the larger battery will be offered in the United States. The Macan EV is expected to leverage the Taycan's 800-volt architecture, enabling rapid charging capabilities of up to 270 kilowatts. It's an exciting step forward for Porsche and electric mobility enthusiasts alike. An electric vehicle that truly embodies the Porsche spirit. That's precisely what the four-door Taycan is all about. Beyond its impeccable handling and highly responsive steering, it boasts sheer acceleration prowess, capable of sprinting from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 2.4 seconds. While every Taycan is fundamentally a four-door sedan, Porsche also offers a wagonized version, known as the Cross Turismo and Sport Turismo, catering to those who seek additional cargo space. We've reviewed these variants separately. The Taycan effectively conceals the typical electric vehicle intricacies behind its elegant design, both inside and out. The large wheels and high-performance brakes contribute to the overall mood. According to EPA estimates, the Taycan with the longest range is expected to cover 246 miles on a single charge, though this figure doesn't quite rival the 384 miles achieved by the least fuel-efficient Lucid Air. The most potent Taycan Turbo S delivers a formidable 750 horsepower, and all Taycan models feature incredibly fast DC fast charging with speeds of up to 270 kWh. The Taycan stands as an electric sports car that lives up to the prestigious Porsche badge, which has been worn by many iconic 911S over the years. However, the Taycan whispers its prowess rather than shouting it from the rooftops. While the Taycan Turbo and Turbo S dazzle with supercar-level performance, we would recommend the more cost-effective Taycan 4S, the 4S is equipped with a 522 HP powertrain, 19-inch wheels, an adaptive air suspension, a partially leather-appointed interior, and keyless entry. To maintain affordability, we would forego most of Porsche's extensive personalization options. However, we would certainly opt for the Performance Battery Plus, which increases the battery size and boosts the combined horsepower rating to 562. The performance package is also a must, enhancing the Taycan's driving experience with rear axle steering and torque vectoring for improved agility, a Sport Plus drive mode for peak performance, and active anti-roll bars to bolster cornering stability. We would also suggest making the most of the Porsche Experience Center. 
Most Taycan models are equipped with dual electric motors, one for the front wheels and another for the rear. These motors offer distinct outputs that differ based on the trim level. The 4S delivers 522 horsepower with the smaller battery and 562 horses with the larger one.